I'm only going to say it one more time, and then you're going to lose the privilege to eat dinner. Ruby and Kevin Frankie's oldest child, Sherry, has called 911 several times over the years because she was concerned for the safety of her siblings. 911 audio of Sherry calling the police has been released to the public. We also have body cam video of the police swarming Ruby Frankie's house looking for her other two children on the day she was arrested. Sundays after church when we all just clean through the leftovers, it's like the highlight of my week. I love it so it much. It is. Mom doesn't get mad at us for eating anything. That and the kids just open up. Like everyone's pretty relaxed. This is police body cam footage just released to the public. Ruby and Jody were taken into custody on August 30th. This video is dated August 30th, 2023. So this happened right after Ruby was taken into custody. Kevin and Ruby have six kids. Two kids are adults. Two kids were found at Jody Hildebrandt's home. They were looking for the other two kids. So they searched Ruby's house. They did not find the kids. And guess where they went next? They went to Pam Botcher's house. Well, we yeah. have to physically see her. I covered Pam in this video. I'll link it here if you haven't seen it. But Pam Botcher is Jody Hildebrandt's longtime best friend, business partner, and she's the president of Connections. I love taking the parenting class. My daughter was gonna take the class and asked me if I would take it with her. And I thought, well, I've, I'm pretty much done parenting. I, my kids are all raised and she really encouraged me to take it with her and I am so grateful that I did because I learned the principles that she was gonna be teaching in her home so I could reinforce them when I was around my grandchildren and it's been really a great experience. After dialogue and questioning, Botcher explained that around noon that day, she received a call from Ruby Frankie who told her she had a family emergency and asked if Botcher could pick up blank and blank. According to Botcher, Ruby asked her if the two children could go to her house with her for a while. Botcher told officers the request wasn't odd since she had blank and blank over her residence before to do housework and other chores for her. Police records show police responded to the Frankie's home more than a dozen times over the last few years. KUTV News reported the two girls were informed by DCFS worker that they were to stay with their oldest sister Sherry or be placed with a foster family. Initially, the two didn't want to leave Botcher's home but were eventually placed with their older sister. KUTV News has reached out to Botcher multiple times and stopped by her home in American Fork on Tuesday afternoon seeking comment, but no one answered the door. What would you say is the best part about doing YouTube? I, I know instantly what the answer is, and I don't know if it's what you're looking for, but it has made me a better mom. Honestly, yeah. because if you have the camera on your face, and then at the end of the day, you look at the footage, you realize, oh my heck, I totally overreacted. Why did I overreact like that? I'm going to have to cut all this out, and it's really painful to watch myself. Like, how many times did your mom tell you, you should see yourself if you could just look <laughs> at yourself right next let's listen to the 911 audio that was just released to the public of sherry frankie calling 911 because she was concerned for the safety of her siblings neighbors contacted sherry and let her know that her siblings were left home alone for days at a time reported on a 911 call made from frankie's eldest daughter sherry last year my four younger siblings are living in springville and my neighbors have been telling me that they have been left home alone for about four or five days. ABC News obtained records showing police responded to the Frankie's home more than a dozen times over the last few years, including reports of juvenile problems in 2018 and welfare checks in 2022. August 31st at 8.30 a.m., Sherry Frankie's Instagram stories were recorded, and this is what she had posted on Instagram. Sherry wrote, Little House on the Prairie is my comfort show. Also, do you guys want to see my room? Then she shared her Aunt Julie's Instagram post and linked a YouTube video. I'm assuming this is Julie's video. Julie wrote, My kids love their freaking cousin. We miss you already. Okay, I'm going to show you my room, but I'm not going to have the camera on me because I look like this. I think what happened is I just have like a clogged tear duct. I've had that happen before. I have my own room this semester. Um, I've got my Bali robe. I have a side table also under my bed. Then Sherry posted this picture of police outside her parents' home in Springville, Utah. Sherry wrote, finally. Hi all. Today has been a big day. Me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this. So glad they finally decided to step up. 
kids are safe, but there's a long road ahead. Please keep them in your prayers and also respect their privacy. Oh my gosh! Are you serious? Oh, there's more on the other side. Ah, I am so sorry. I feel so dumb. Exclusive body cam footage obtained by ABC News shows when police with guns drawn go room to room inside Frankie's Utah home after her 12 year old son allegedly escaped Jody Hildenbrandt's home and ran to a neighbor who called 911. On August 17th, Sherry Frankie and her attorney, Kevin Frankie and his attorney, and Chad all went to a child custody hearing. Ruby Frankie was also there in person. They transferred her from Washington County to Utah County, which is where her Springville home is located. A judge ruled the child custody case be sealed, so we don't know what happened. But media was outside the courtroom and got this footage of the Frankie family going to court. If you're standing in line at your local grocery store and look over at the magazine section, you've probably seen Ruby Frankie on the cover of People magazine. In recent weeks, neighbors have opened up to people about what Frankie was like off camera. She's this walking contradiction, one neighbor said. We would see how she was with her kids, and then I would see the ridiculous YouTube or Instagram videos of her pontificating and lecturing and preaching about how to be a mom of truth. And I was just like, this is the craziest thing. This is the worst mother I know of. The neighbor shared a handful of stories about Frankie's behavior, alleging that she often flirted with other men in the neighborhood, but often spoke about the evils of lust. She was very flirty with men to where I was like, oh, that's kind of weird, the neighbor tells people. She'd be very flirty with you, especially if she caught you alone going out to the mailbox or something like that. And then at the same time, publicly, she would act differently. There was an incident, I guess, where a girl wore a two-piece swimsuit to a pool party in the neighborhood, which is normal, right? She just went ballistic, and she was lecturing people in the local LDS congregation about lust and the evils of this and that and the virtues of modesty, and yet she would be really flirty with men. I always thought that was a weird thing. The neighbor says he remembers conversation he and his wife had about Frankie's behavior. I was like, what is she hiding? It's like she feels shame or guilt about maybe the way that she is. And so she overcompensates, and then we notice the same thing with the kids. She was honestly just an absolutely horrific mom, he says. To the marriage believing, like, okay, the, the, the best thing that I do in my whole day is, you know, five o'clock, make sure the house is cleaned up for dad to come home and make sure my makeup is on and I'm wearing something nice. So it's, it's all this focus on Here's what I bring to the marriage. I bring my body and I make sure the house is clean. So that didn't, I mean, it, it just, it wasn't going to hold water for too long in our marriage. And that's why we started to have leaks. What are your thoughts on everything? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. I'll see you in this video next.